Okay, hello year five. So continuing on with our uh, division topic, we're now going to look at chunking. Um, if you follow exactly what I show you to do, then you shouldn't have a massive issue. I know a few of you have been struggling with it. Um, but if you follow me step by step, you should be okay. So for instance, short division is fine to use if you were dividing with one number, but chunky method or long division method is what you would need to do if you were divided by a, a two digit number. So if I was dividing 2,922 by 37, okay? That's what I want to work out. This is what I need to do. First things first, you need to do your key. You've got five today. I'm just videoing Mr. Sorry. Leo. <laughs> Mr. Leo just interrupting our beautiful Life video. Goes on. <laughs> so you need to do your key. So first things first, you need to do one times thirty-seven, which we know is thirty-seven. Two times thirty-seven. We're just doubling 37, so we've got 67, 74. Okay, now you can play around with the numbers. This is why we were doing times in by 10, 100, and 1,000 last week. We can now do 10 times 37, which gives us 370. We could do 20 times 37. Again, we're just making it 10 times bigger, so 740. We could do 5 times 37 because we can halve this number, so that's 150, 185. Um, where else shall we go? Um, I think we'll do, we could actually add those two together. We could do 15 times 37, so that would be... Five hundred and fifty-five. Okay, I think I'm going to start there now. No, I'll do one more. I'll do thirty times thirty-seven, and to do that, I can add these two together. So that's a thousand, a thousand and forty, one thousand one hundred and ten. I'll just double check that. One thousand one hundred and ten. Okay, so I've done my key. I've got the calculation that I need to work out. Now I'm going to actually start working it out. So first things first, you take the highest number possible away. So I'm going to go with this one here, one thousand one hundred and ten. So one thousand one hundred and ten, and then in brackets next to it, we need to write that that was thirty times. Okay, this will help you at the end. So two take zero is two. 2 take 1 is 1, 9 take 1 is 8, and 2 take 1 is 1, okay? Then I take some more off, so actually I could take this off again. So take away 1,110, which is 30 times. So 2 take 0 is 2, 1 take 1 is 0, 8 take 1 is 7, and 1 take 1 is 0, okay? Then I go for the next one, so I can't take 740, that's too high, but I could take 15, so 555, so that's what I'm going to do. And that's 15 times. So two take five you can't do, um, you can't borrow it from there, so we're going over to here. So 12 take five is seven, nine take five is four, and six take five is one. And then going to take off 74, which is two times. So seven take four is three, four take seven I can't do. Okay, and then going to take off a 37, which is one times. So three take seven, we're going to exchange. So 13 take seven gives us six. And three, uh, six take three leaves us with three. So I can't take any more off that now. Because the one time so I said this, I can't take any more off that. So that is our remainder. But to get our answer, because we're still not quite there yet, and I said these would come in handy, 
we add these up. So 30, add 30 is 60, add 15, 75, 76, 77, 78. And our remainder is 36 over 37. Ta-da!